All right, Dave. Roger Lloyd Pack was a much-loved actor and is a lost legend of comedy. For over half a century, Roger entertained audiences on TV, in the cinema and theatres. He was able to showcase his talent in different roles, but he's best known for portraying Trigger and Owen Newitt in the critically acclaimed Only Falls and Horses and the Vicar of Dibley sitcoms, which really showcased his unmatched comic timing. Let's take a moment to appreciate his brilliance. Born in Islington, London in 1944, Roger's father was also an actor, so he described following his father's footsteps as going into the family business. One of his first roles was aged 24 in the 1968 movie The Magus, which also starred Michael Caine. As his career started to grow, Roger mixed stage work with small roles in several television programs, until his career took a giant upswing in 1981 when he was cast for what would become one of Britain's favourite sitcoms, Only Falls and Horses. The character Trigger in Only Falls and Horses is Roger Lloyd Pack's best known role. Roger once described the fame gained from playing Trigger as both a blessing and a curse, as it was extraordinary to play a character in such a long and successful sitcom, but he also couldn't step outside without being recognised as Trigger. How you going, Dave? The dim-witted but well-meaning character was in the very first episode of Only Falls and Horses in 1981, and the last episode in 2003. In fact, out of all 64 episodes, he was in 39 of them, making him arguably the sitcom's biggest character outside the Trotter family. By trade, Trigger was a road sweeper. Perhaps surprisingly, he was so good at his job, he was awarded a medal by the council for looking after his broom. This old broom has had 17 new heads and 14 new handles in its time. <laughs> Roger was incredibly skilled at delivering his lines with a deadpan delivery. Most of the time though, we saw Roger's trigger drinking with Dale Boy, Rodney, Boise and others in the sitcom's pub, The Nag's Head. But one of the character's bewildering traits was forever calling Rodney Dave. Alright Dave? Even after Rodney explained to him that his name is not Dave. Trig, why do you call me Dave? My name's not Dave. My name's Rodney. Despite his limited intellect, Trigger's innocence and warm-heartedness endeared him to viewers. John Sullivan's masterful writing and Roger Lloyd Pack's deadpan delivery made audiences love the character, but it's because of Roger's talent that Trigger evolved from a side character to a central one on the show. Roger's second major sitcom role was alongside Don French in Richard Curtis's comedy The Vicar of Dibley. He was a mainstay in this cosy show, portraying local farmer Owen Newitt, a cat who struggles to control his animals as well as his own personal hygiene. It's like the big ride at Alton Towers in my innards. <laughs> As an important part of the local community, Owen was a parish council member, but would often arrive late to meetings due to various goings on in his day job. Sorry I'm late, the sheep exploded. But thankfully, he still turned up for almost every episode. Throughout the sitcom's run from 1994 to 2007, Rogers Owen struggled to find his ideal woman, much like his other character, Trigger. But Owen always had a crush on the villagers' vicar, Geraldine. His admiration for her wasn't exactly mutual though, which is why he also had an unhealthy passion for his animals too. Still, thanks to Rogers' betrayal, trail of his flawed character, viewers could be confident that whenever Roger was on screen, there would be laughs ahead. In 2009, Roger finally got a leading role in his sitcom with the old guys, which explores two retirees sharing a house together. There she is. Whoa. The programme ran for two series, and was written by Peep Show co-creators Jesse Armstrong and Sam Bain, but it unfortunately wasn't as well received as Lloyd Pack's previous sitcoms. Although most know him for his TV comedy roles, Lloyd Pack showed his versatility by shunning a more serious ones too. He played Barty Crouch in Harry Potter and the Globers of Fire in 2005, and appeared in Doctor Who and Doc Martin, but his very last on-screen role was in drama series Law & Order UK. Is this really helping anybody? But Roger also spent a lot of his later career on stage, including in productions of Twelfth Night and Richard III for Shakespeare's Globe Theatre. Outside of acting though, Roger also spent most of his life as a member of the Labour Party, and was a staunch anti-war campaigner. Roger Lloyd Pack sadly died in 2014 at just 69 years old after a battle with pancreatic cancer, leaving behind a wife and four children. He was a legend of the world lost too soon, and actors who worked with him often described him as a sweet and gentle man. Sir David Jason, who starred alongside Roger in Only Fours and Horses, called him a quiet, kind, unassuming but intelligent man. Do you have a favourite character or moment from Roger's career? Please let us know in the comments. Also, have a look at more of our videos on classic British comedy with one of these links or by visiting the channel page. Thanks for watching and cheerio!